friends here i will be talking about simple uses of print see here print is a function not only print if anything is ending with parenthesis then you can call that as a function and here print function is used to display a message or outputting a result so simply to display a message or string or text or a result fine now before going to use print function you have to know what are the rules to use it or what are the syntaxes to use it now let me give all the possible print function syntaxes see these all are different syntaxes to use print function and here first three syntaxes are very simple syntaxes and remaining two are advanced level uses of print function so as of now we are at beginning stage that's why here i will go with the first three syntaxes now here to practice with your first three syntaxes of print function i'm going to use visual studio code editor but you can use any editor now let me create a new file so let me give the name for my python script let's say simple uses of print.py now let me write our print function syntax to practice with it and here one important point is whenever if you are going to write any code in your python script don't provide space at the beginning of your line until and unless if there is any special requirement see as of now we are at beginning stage so that's why we don't know what is that special requirement just wait for some time very soon we'll discuss about that special requirement so actually what is my intention is whenever if you are writing any line you have to start with from first space in that line so as of now whatever the syntax we have written that is perfect now let me save it and run it see to run your code from visual studio code editor we have two ways i am directly going to run using play button run see you are getting output as empty because inside of parenthesis we are not writing anything so we have given empty inside of your parenthesis that's why it is displaying empty information that's fine now what i will do is i will give some space at the beginning of your print syntax now let me save it and run it see the result you are getting indentation error unexpected indent unnecessarily you are providing some space here indentation is nothing but a space so unnecessarily you have given a space before starting your line so don't provide that so whenever if you provide some space actually we have some special requirement for that that's fine now this is simply a simple print function now let me print with some quotations now let me save it and run it so now we are getting two empty lines because of two print functions and in those two print functions inside of parenthesis we have given nothing so two empty lines that's fine now let me write something inside of your parenthesis while writing some string or message or text inside of your parenthesis always you have to take quotations for your string suppose i am writing this is my first practice with print so save it and run it now see that first you are getting two empty lines and then you are getting some message or string or text in your output because first of all we have three lines in our python script so whenever if you run your python script it will execute line by line so the very first line is empty print so that's why empty line then second line also empty so second line also output is empty third line output we are getting something that's it so it is executing line by line actually that is the property of interpreter so our python software itself it is an interpreter so that's why it is executing line by line that's fine see once again wantedly i am giving some space in second line now let me save it and run it see the result you are getting indentation or unexpected indent line number 2 in line number 2 unnecessarily you have given space so we should not give unnecessarily the space at the beginning of any line 
so remove it save it and then run it that's fine and one more thing you can write string inside of your print function with quotations right but this quotations you can also take as single or triple quotations let me show you that so i am writing one more line print with single quotation this is a print function with single quotes it will work let me save it and run it see the output yes you are getting the output from your fourth line as well not only single quotation you can also consider triple quotes let me show you that take three triple quotes so those you can take either single or double quote symbols i mean see that triple quotes this is using triple quotes save it and run it see the output you are getting and here for this line in the output first you are getting some space because if you observe here between your quotations and your string i have given some space that space is preserving in the output as well so if you don't want to get that just remove that space here save it run it now see that now this triple quotes you can also implement with double quotation i mean in this way 1 2 3 double quotations so this is using three double quotes so end with those three double quotes syntaxes then save it and run it yes it is working perfectly right fine now here if you start with double quotation you have to end with double quotation only if you start with single quotation you have to end with single quotation only right likewise so whatever the quotations you have started in your print function same quotations you have to use to end that syntax and finally you have to remember this print is a function and whatever we are writing inside of parenthesis that is called argument that's it okay okay guys thank you for watching this simple uses of print function